Hi, in this video, we're going to see why Discord links might be invalid and what could be a possible solution. So, as you can see, I've got my Discord open in front of me and I'm trying to join a certain server using this particular link. And if I click on join server, well, this is the message which is appearing in front of me. The invite is invalid or has expired. So, I can pinpoint this to four major causes. And a very common one is that you have actually reached the maximum number of servers that you are permitted to join. Every Discord user has this limit of 100 servers. You cannot join any more than 100 servers. So maybe you're trying to join your 101st server. So obviously that's not possible. To bypass this problem, what you have to do is you have to delete any of your existing servers uh, preferably the ones which you do not use and then you would be able to join in any more servers. Another reason could be that the link itself may be incorrect. Maybe the sequence of the characters is not what it should be or maybe you have just copied it incorrectly. So you just have to be very sure that the link you're typing in here is the correct link. And if it is correct, then this problem should not occur with you. Okay, now another reason could be that the invite has expired. Okay, let me just demonstrate that. So if I go to one of my own servers and then I create an invite link to that, here you could see your invite link expires in seven days. So maybe this is the case with you. If you're trying to join a link which has already expired, then obviously you would be unable to join that particular server. To solve this, I just go to edit invite link and in this drop down menu under expire after, I would select never and then I would generate a new link. So this is the link which I could copy and send in to any of my friends or whoever I want to join the server. Uh, and then this link would never expire. So regardless of when they join the server, this link is going to work and they can easily join my server okay so the last reason could be that maybe the ad the administrator has banned you from joining that server or maybe your ip address has been banned for whatever reason so in that case what you can do is you can use a proxy google chrome the browser which i'm using has many inbuilt proxies or you can use a vpn Whatever you're comfortable with, just install it as an extension or maybe use another browser and install the VPN in there. And then you could try joining that server and I'm sure that it would work for you. So these are four possible reasons why you might see that invalid message and you could see how to fix that issue. 